PAS2 inventories. Okay. Cost of inventories. Cost of purchase. Cost of conversion. And other cost incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location and condition. So yung cost ng inventories itong tatlo yung laman. Unahin natin yung cost of purchase. So yung cost of inventories, ang composition niya una yung cost of purchase. So ano ba yung mga nasa cost of purchase na cost ng inventories? Letter A, purchase price. So, purchase price, ito yung price na naka-indicate dun sa vendor's invoice. Purchase price. Letter B, import duties and irrecoverable taxes. Okay, ito kasing import duties na to and irre irrecoverable taxes. So, may incur to kapag yung ang kapag ang inventory mo ay galing from other countries papunta in the Philippines. So, itong import duties na to, naiincur mo siya kapag ang inventory mo ay import. Meaning yung inventory mo galing sa ibang bansa pasok sa Pilipinas. So, ano ba yung import duties na yan? Ang import duties, ito yung mga taxes collected on imports by customs authorities. So, kapag bumibili ka ng inventory from other country, papunta sa Pilipinas, kapag nag-i-import ka ng inventory, meron kang babayarang import duties. Which is nakabasa ito sa value ng inventory na binili mo. And, bakit nga ba meron pang import duties? Ang purpose kasi ng import duties, syempre, ito ay taxes na binabayaran mo kapag ikaw ay nag import at kapag may taxes ka na may kapag may taxes ka na binabayaran kapag may taxes ka na binabayaran additional income sa government so iyon yung isa sa purpose ng import duties additional income para sa government and ang isa pang purpose ng import duties ini-encourage kasi ng import duties na yung mga company na instead mag-import para maiwasan nila magbayad ng import duties is bumili na lang ng mga locally produced goods kasi yung mga locally produced goods pag bumibili ka nun, purchase price lang normally ang babayaran mo plus handling cost yung mga locally produced goods wala naman yung import duties so walang extra cost kang babayaran kapag locally produced goods yung mga binibili mong inventory. So, iyon yung isa sa mga purpose ng import duties. Ine-encourage yung mga company na bumili ng locally produced goods. Kasi kapag bumili pa sila from other countries, pag, pag nag-import pa sila ng inventory, magbabayad sila ng additional taxes, which is import duties. Next, freight handling and other costs directly attributable to the acquisition of finished goods, materials, and services. So, freight, na-encounter nyo na to sa basic accounting. Di ba, pag nagko-compute tayo ng total goods available for sale, tandaan nyo pa yung formula. Beginning inventory plus net purchases plus freight in. Kaya kasama siya sa cost ng inventories. Handling and other costs directly attributable to the acquisition of finished goods, materials, and services. So, yung mga inventories kasi, merong mga type ng inventory na nakangailangan ng special na handling procedure. Kung baga, hindi mo siya basta-basta lang pwedeng ilagay sa kung saan-saan. Kung baga, yung iba nakangailangan pa ng uh, dapat ilagay mo siya sa gantong room temperature, dapat yung handling mo ay maayos, may mga special procedures pa sa handling. Nagiging parte rin siya ng cost of purchase. Nagiging parte rin siya ng cost of inventories. Trade discounts, 
rebates, and other similar items are deducted in determining the cost of the purchase. So again, itong trade discount na encounter nyo na to, basic accounting. Trade discounts, um, ito yung mga discount na na-avail ng buyer kapag bumibili siya ng mga bulk, kumbaga bumibili ng inventory on a bulk basis, kumbaga bulto-bulto. May na-avail niya yung trade discount. And rebates. Ang rebates naman, ito naman yung mga discount given on a time of purchase. So halimbawa bumili ka ng inventory. And nung time ng purchase, nung time doon na bumili ka ng inventory, binayaran mo na rin agad. And binigyan ka ng vendor mo ng discount kasi binayaran mo siya agad at the time of purchase. Yung discount, yun yung rebate. Cost of conversion. Letter A, direct labor. Letter B, production overhead. Or manufacturing overhead or factory overhead. Ang cost of conversion, ito naman yung sa mga manufacturing business. And kapag manufacturing business, kapag manufacturing business ang entity, sila mismo ang bumubuo ng product na binebenta nila sa customers. Sila mismo yung magmamanufacture um, magma ng product na ibebenta nila sa customers. And yung um, para makabuo sila ng product, Kailangan nila ng direct labor and production overhead. Ang direct labor, ito yung mga um, sweldo or yung mga compensation ng mga workers na directly gumagawa ng product. And ang production overhead naman, ito naman yung mga production costs na related sa pagbuo ng product mga production costs na related sa pagmanufacture ng product na hindi direct labor at hindi direct materials ang inventory cost or ang product cost kasi ng mga manufacturing business ang composition niya is yung materials labor which is ito yon direct labor and yung overhead which is production overhead so kapag ang production cost ay hindi materials hindi rin siya labor so yun ay overhead kapag may production cost or kapag may cost na related sa pagmanufacture ng product, kapag ang cost na yun ay hindi materials, kapag ang cost na yun ay hindi labor, overhead. So, pag manufacturing business kasi, kapag para makonvert mo yung materials, yung raw materials papunta sa finish goods um, finish goods kakailanganin mong i-convert yung material sa punta sa finish goods mag i incur ka ng conversion cost or cost of conversion which is composed siya ng direct labor and overhead production overhead other cost other cost incurred in bringing the inventories to their present location and condition is included in the cost of inventories the following costs are excluded from the cost of inventories letter a abnormal amounts of wasted materials labor and other production costs okay Normally naman kasi sa accounting, basta abnormal 
waste or abnormal loss china charge agad yan sa loss account kapag abnormal amounts hindi yan nagiging parte ng cost of inventories storage cost ang storage cost depende kapag storage cost sa goods in process capitalize siya as cost of inventory kapag storage cost ay para sa finished goods hindi na siya parte ng cost of inventory expense na ang kanyang recording and letter C hindi rin kasama sa cost of inventory ang administrative overheads and selling cost illustration brilliant company purchase inventory from various countries for export to other countries the entity incurred the following cost during the year during the current year ang required what is the total cost of the purchases so magko-compute tayo ng total cost of purchases magko-compute tayo ng total cost of inventory cost of purchase based on vendor's invoice Pasok ba to sa cost of inventory? Yes, kasama to. Kasama yan. So, lagay na lang natin dito yung solution. Cost of purchase. Cost of purchase based on vendor's invoice. Five million pesos trade discounts on purchases already deducted from vendors invoices 500,000 ok trade discounts kapag trade discounts binabawas siya sa cost of inventory pero sa case kasi na to already deducted na siya so, kumbaga na ibawas na siya dito sa vendor's invoice. Kumbaga itong 5 million na to is net of trade discounts. So hindi na natin i-consider to. Kasi na ibawas na siya dun sa vendor's invoices. Yung 5 million ay net of trade discounts. Import duties. Import duties, pasok yan. Import duties. Bakit kaya may import duties dito? 400,000. Kasi yung business nga, bumibili siya ng inventory from various countries. nag import siya ng inventory. Kaya meron siyang import duties na nangyayon. Freight and insurance on purchases. 1 million. So, kasama rin yan. Freight and um, insurance. Na 1 million. Other handling costs relating to imports. So, other handling costs relating sa imports, kasama rin yan. Lagay natin dito. Other costs relating to imports na kanyon 100,000. Salaries of accounting department. 600,000 pesos. So, kasama ba to sa cost of inventory? Hindi siya kasama. Ba't kaya may salaries of accounting department pa na nilagay dito? Kasi, accounting ang nagko-compute ng cost of inventory. So, kaya siguro nilagay dito as pampagulo lang. Hindi yan kasama. Brokerage commission paid to agents for arranging imports. 200,000. So, relating sa imports. Kapag kasi nag import ng goods from other countries, maraming mga, kumbaga maraming mga dokumento na kailangan, maraming mga proseso na dinadaanan ng inventory bago siya um, ma-deliver dun sa buyer. And since maraming ang mga process, maraming mga dokumento na kailangan, kakailanganin mo ng service ng broker. Yan kasing broker na yan, expert siya in arranging imports. Sila yung mga 
Kumbaga sila yung mga expert pagdating sa pag-arrange ng mga import related na transaction. Kakailanganin mo ng service niya. And kumikita yung mga broker na yan through commission. Ang brokerage commission is kasama yan sa cost ng ating inventory. Brokerage commission na 200,000 pesos. Sales commission 300,000 pesos. Kasama ba ito sa cost of inventories? Hindi. Hindi yan kasama. Selling cost ang ang pagpapasukan ng sales commission. And after sales warranty cost 250,000 pesos. So, ano naman tong after sales warranty cost? So, kapag may mga um, sub, kapag subject sa warranty yung inventory na binenta ni Brilliant Company kapag may bumalik sa kanyang customer at um, subject sa warranty yung inventory kakailanganin nun ng mga repairs cost repair cost yun yung warranty cost and kasama ba yan sa cost of inventory? hindi na rin yan kasama sa cost of inventory yung after sales warranty ko. So, ito lang yung composition ng ating um, total cost of purchase purchases. So, total cost ng purchases ay 5 million plus 400,000 plus 1 million plus 100,000 plus 200,000 that is 6.7 million pesos. Yun yung total cost ng ating purchases. Yan yung total cost of inventory ni Brilliant Company. Based dito sa mga given na available sa problem.